Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today is all about the McLaren Senna. We're here in Miami at Iconic the Collection, but we're not talking about that full carbon bodied Senna or that full carbon bodied Senna either, but this one. The McLaren Senna GTR, the track car, one of only 75 in the world. And we're going to be taking this out to go for a ride in the Senna GTR today with Iconic. Barry's going to be here shortly. I can't wait to experience a little bit more about this. The craziness is about to unfold. Before we get this car outside then, for a first experience on board the McLaren Senna GTR, let's just take it in for a moment. Parked here alongside the almost pedestrian looking road version, the McLaren Senna road car. There are 500 of these, one of which I'm lucky enough to own back home. But the two of them that are out here as part of the iconic collection are both in full exposed carbon fiber. The full carbon fiber weave over the body works. And an interesting thing about US cars actually is that here they have the dual exit exhaust. My car and other European cars have a third exit, which is basically a muffler to make them a little bit quieter. But when you have those, which are in their own right, pretty radical in terms of the aero with 800 kilos of downforce parked next to this, they almost start to look a little bit schoolboy because this is the ultimate, the track race car version of the Senna, the Senna GTR. There are only 75 of them in total. It has a thousand kilos of downforce and 820 horsepower, which comes from a four a twin turbo V8, all going to the back through the dual clutch gearbox. But just look at the aerodynamics of this car. The regular car is already pretty much up there in terms of road cars. But this at the front, the extended splitter, these flicks that you have around. Of course, you've got the towing rope at the front too. You've got some more openings, but mostly the side is pretty similar, familiar from the road car. The mirrors are currently folded in because the master switch is off. I'll show you that in a second. You've got the roof snorkel up on the top, and then you've got this contraption, the wing at the rear mounted with the swan neck arms, but also attaching down towards the diffuser and come to the very back. Look at this thing. Look at how open and menacing it is. Those gigantic exhaust tips, the center and livery that it has over the car. This is wild. Now have a quick look inside. You would open it here, but with the power off, you have to use the latch there at the back. Have a look at this. Derived from the road car, but you've got the steering wheel with your controls. We're currently in wet mode for the ESC. You can change your settings over here. If we just flick on the master switch, it will start waking up. But the seats with the harnesses, proper, proper bucket seats. There's no rear view mirror up on the roof. That's all done through the screen on the center. The main dashboard coming into life as well. You've got those side windows where you can see straight on out. I think we've got our tag here to go out and drive the car as well. But this, this thing is just mental. For comparison, check this out. And there's one other really interesting thing as well but inside the regular if we can call it regular road car it is already pretty focused look at these seats look at the setup it's got the folding dash which will wake up now all coming to life but basically it's a derivative of the same car this car has soft close on the doors the race car doesn't have that but fascinating to me are the tires look at these on the road car these are the Trofeo R's, the normal road tire that you have. Of course, you can run this on slicks, but at the moment it is on the wet tires and you actually have more tread from the wet tires than you do on the normal road going center. That's pretty crazy, but um, I think it's time to get this outside to go see what it's about. And we are joined then today with Barry. How are you? Okay, okay. I'm very excited to get into the GTR and give it a little spin. Should we do it? Let's go. Let's get this car started up then. I think it is going to sound, well, pretty epic. I'm not sure I've ever heard a Senna GTR starting, so this will be a first for me. Um, there's a bit of a process to this. I probably won't film you trying to climb in. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Um, but then we will get this into life, take it outside. It is a beautiful day outside. And of course here we've got the GT2 Club Sport. But to come around, because first up is getting the master on. Um, and then okay, when the master is on. Master's um, on. Yeah, I think we're gonna wait until it goes beep with the fuel pump coming into life. Um, a bit of a process behind this, but it is based on the road car. Um, I guess this is this is brand new. It's yes. just arrived, right? Just arrived, very recently. Um, but you've driven the road cars a little. Yes, I certainly have. So this is going to be a fascinating experience. It's like a waiting game for the wet. Where's the beep coming from? There we go. There we go. All right. So this beep. will be time to bring it into life. I'm going to head round to the back. Let's take a listen then. As the Senna GTR starts up. Okay. Wow! It's an even more 
system I'm not sure if I close that properly not quite sure how to tell but the door releases up here pop that I'm gonna pull it down just really aggressively to make sure there we go that's in place I've got to do my harness up as well which is gonna be a little bit fiddly inside here okay, give me one second let me just pop this up there while I try and get this sorted out get myself safely buckled this feels pretty raw inside here. It feels raw, but you know what? It's um, it's um, it's it's a bit civilized, I think. I guess it's not like a full GT3 car or something. It's yeah. still it's still slightly sanitized. You still have mirrors and yeah, we've got yeah. the air conditioning. We've got aircon running. running. This is lovely, actually. Um, yes. So yes. Yeah, so <laughs> see All the right. photos behind. <laughs> so see, right now. Um, just uh, just checking here, we are in uh, auto mode. Yep. Um, You've got auto manual there. It's ma auto manual here, so we're gonna switch that to manual. And uh, I'm ready when you are. Yeah, absolutely ready. Okay, so here we go. Fuel, attempts of climbing, first gear. We're on the move in the center GTR. My word, the wing at the back of this is truly bonkers. Oh wow! <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, it's like the center, but even rawer. The noise is more visceral. You feel even more vibrations. I mean, the center is pretty mad to begin with. It actually feels kind of normal. It doesn't feel totally, right? It totally does. crazy. It actually does feel like almost feels... like a center, a little bit of steroids. Yeah, but still kind of a center. He says. I love the click on the shifter. Proper, proper sound from that, even with the dual clutch. Just being inside, McLaren Senna. <laughs> this must look so, so, so crazy. <laughs> You're beaming. <laughs> oh, I love it. Absolutely it's love actually, it. You know, it, it, it's a very comfortable position. Also. It is. Very I'm a big fan of the seats. They're very snug. Yes. I like them. I like them a lot. But yeah, this all feels kind of, kind of normal-ish, kind of, why not, you know? No problems, no difficulties, just a normal car out for a cruise in the sunshine. Well, you never know out here, it could start raining any second. with 
that this feels like quite similar, quite a similar experience. You have to be very aware of how low it is. But all around, it's just, it just works. Of course, the tires are not going out on track, hence the message on the screen. Obviously, you need to lower the pressures if you're gonna be track driving. But here, they feel kind of nice to drive and head all the way to a local racetrack. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, why not? <laughs> We should take a little diversion, head up the uh, up the road to Daytona, take part in the 24, have some fun. <laughs> Got good air conditioning, blows out very nicely actually, works surprisingly well. And yeah, just all the noises and sounds you expect. Obviously the start button in the centre is up here, the door buttons lost are the other controls because window is not something you can open and on the driver's side it's a uh, glass window. It is looking like it has just been raining where we are now but the car is running on wet however you can see how much the uh, rain water gets thrown up through the side windows down there which is always pretty crazy to be able to see out and watch the kind of tarmac going past a <laughs> bit outside the car. Job done, and then I guess we turn off the master, and which is like you pull it and then flick it up. That's it. Oh, oh, we need the master for that. We Sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Sorry, Barry, but no thank problem. you for that. What an experience. This it was really, this thing drove. Yes, what a car. Surprisingly more uh, easy to drive than you would actually ever expect from such a thing. Wow, just wow. But I tell you what, look at how much, even just from the wet roads, the aero, the tires throwing up, spewing up all of the uh, the dirty water. But um, yes, this was, uh, this was quite an experience. The McLaren Senna GTR. I'm actually amazed by how much the aero made it get a little bit dirty there. But look at this thing, look at this thing. What? What? We've just been out in this. Now for a drive with this. Interesting observations then about the car. While it is parked here, the first thing is that I just spotted this view through the front end of the car, the front bumper. How you can see from here, straight the way through and out. That is of course aero work at its greatest. Another interesting thing is that currently the car has the master on. And while the master is on, and I probably did get this right earlier, it just confused me, it does actually, like the road car, have soft clothes, which is a kind of fun little detail. Also, around the back, this thing, this wing, this contraption, as I described it, that goes, well obviously this pivots, this moves around a little bit, so when you start moving it calibrates and it has DRS to sit flat and it goes up like an active air brake, pivoting about these hinges and also the hinges that you have just here. Well, that's 
massive as it is. And then you have these, are they end plates? Is that what we call them? Obviously the entire wing sits further back on the race car than it does on the road car because it's allowed to hang a little bit further out towards the rear. But look at all of this, look at the shapes. Look at, like, look at this, almost like a, I don't know how to describe it, that way it points forward like a spear almost in some way. But the wing is very much um, up there at the, uh, the highest point of this car, the Senna GTR. You've got the uh, towing system here, you've got the re reversing kind of lights, the, F1 style, it's all open, you can see the interior, the internal kind of carbon components, components, for example, the wheel arch liners. Yeah, this is, this is a bonkers, bonkers, bonkers piece of machinery. And to have been out on the road in it is of course, um, well, something that I don't think has, uh, has been seen or experienced before. The McLaren Senna GTR, one of the absolute highlights of iconic the collection. And uh, I guess what a huge thanks to Barry, the legend, for that run out. At the moment, I need a pinch. It doesn't quite feel like we've actually just been out of this. But I guess we have. I guess that did happen. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm going to pop Barry's link down below, as well as a link over to Iconic the Collection, if you'd like to see more of the cars. But that is a memory I am not going to be forgetting in a hurry. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Appreciate your support as always. That is it for this time, though. I will see you again very soon. Cheers.